Hello and welcome back to NSUSpartans.com, fueled by Gatorade. Ross Gordon joined by two seniors here, the NSU men's basketball team. Malcolm Hawkins to my right, Pendarvis Williams to my left. The Spartans fall tonight to 19 and 15 as they lose to Eastern Michigan here in Michigan. The final score was 58 to 54. Tough ball game first for our Spartan Partners post game player of the game, Malcolm Hawkins. Uh, it seemed like you got back on track tonight after struggling in the MEAC tournament. Good to see some shots fall for you. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. It was good to see the ball going. You know, I had a tough out in last game in the MEAC, so it was just good to see some shots going. Uh, Penny, you know, coming off the MEAC tournament where you were first team all MEAC selection, uh, didn't see the success that you wanted to in your final game as a Spartan. But uh, talk a little bit about having a chance to win it in this tournament. I mean, it was great. I mean, after the loss to North Carolina Central, a lot of guys on this team, like, as well as myself, thought the season was over. So it was great to have a good shot at uh, getting to the CIT. But uh, we didn't really get get the results we wanted with the win. And I, like you said, I didn't really end my career the way I would like to. But it's a, it's a career that ended with three straight postseason trips, uh, NCAA tournament, your sophomore year, NIT, your junior year, and CIT, your your, your senior year. Talk a little bit about your career as a whole because it, it's a very accomplished career. You're the you're going out, you two are going out as a part of the senior class that had the most wins in the Division One era. It was a pretty good senior and a, a pretty good career for you. Yeah, like you said, I mean, after coming in my freshman year, we struggled. But uh, sophomore year was really great for us when the MIAC championship went on to the NCAA tournament where we shocked the world. Uh, last year, we had a really, a really good year as well, but uh, we didn't do as well as we'd like, which was uh, to win another championship. But like you said, we went to the NIT, which is, which is great. And to this year we had a few ups and we had a lot of ups and downs, better a lot of adversity, and uh, we went to the CIT. But any season that you have when you advance to the postseason is good. So I mean, it's, it was a blessing. Hulk, your two years here as well. You went to the postseason. Uh, talk a little, bit, a little bit about what you gained from uh, coming to Norfolk State. Uh, yeah, um, the postseason was a, a good accomplishment for me because you know previously it was at Delaware. You know we had losing records. You know I come here, it's a winning atmosphere when I get here. And, you know, I play, and you know, we, we won more games than we lost, and we got, we got, uh, we had a good season last year, my junior year, 16 and 0. I, I was proud of that, regular season champs. And this year, we uh, made it to the CIT. So, I mean, it, I feel accomplished. You know, I feel, I feel good. I feel uh, good about Nova State. You know, uh, I appreciate every opportunity that Coach Jones gave me, and look forward to moving on. It's it's a big thing for both of y'all. Is this is your final game at Norfolk State University? Is there anything you you want to say to just wrap up your career here at Norfolk State? We we'll start with you. Um, just thank you for the Norfolk State family for uh, supporting me. You know, again, thank you for the coaching staff, Coach Jones and Coach LB in particular for just giving me the opportunity. You know, um, and I just like to thank my teammates. You know. We went to war together. We won some, we lost some, but you know it was st it's still family. So I like to thank my teammates. I thank, thank you, Ross, man, Mike. I'd like to thank y'all. Y'all part of the family. So. Yes, I want to th give thanks to the Spartan family for accepting me and supporting us as well. Uh, all my family, my teammates, which are like my brothers, uh, the coaches for giving me an opportunity and giving me a chance. And, and like uh, Hawk said, you guys, Ross and Bello, y'all, y'all part of the family as well. First shout out Mike Bello has ever gotten here on NSUSpartans.com. We thank you for that. But uh, congratulations on the season, you guys. Congratulations on making it to a CIT. But the final score today is 58-54. Norfolk State Falls to Eastern Michigan. We'll see you in just a few weeks as baseball and softball get going here on NSUSpartans.com, fueled by Gatorade. Again, we thank Penn Darvis Williams and Malcolm Hawkins for their time. I'm Ross Gordon. You've been watching NSUSpartans.com, fueled by Gatorade.